Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by JEGS, the leader in high-performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to JEGS.com for everything and anything that you need to make your vehicles more awesome. All right, it is the Daytona 500 weekend, and uh, we got a couple men that are highly irritated. I don't like the ladies racing in NASCAR. They're all over X. They're all over social media. So the Herminator decided to do a show about pretty ladies racing in NASCAR. Pretty ladies racing in NHRA. Just simply the ladies, all right? So before we get started and I give my opinion on ladies racing in racing, just ladies racing in racing, right? They race. It could be anything, all right? It could be drag racing, NASCAR, dirt, open wheel midgets, sprint cars, whatever. I'm going to give you a disclaimer, and here it goes. I am married to my wife, Kim, and I have three girls. So I am a girl dad, all right, number one. Number two, my brother, Mike Wallace, his daughter is Chrissy. Chrissy is an incredible race car driver. Now, Chrissy quit racing in NASCAR because she found it really hard to find money. But you can Google her all day long. Chrissy is incredible. She's won championships up here in Lebanon, Missouri, at Lebanon I-44 Speedway against the boys, and they hated her. They could not take Chrissy out running them. Uh, You know, sometimes men just get ate up with the fact that a girl is out running me. I know some people in NHRA, and I said, what would you quit drag racing for? The answer was shocking. They said, I quit racing in NHRA because some girl lined up to me and smoked my ass. (laughs) All right. So the Herminator has got his phone here, and I made some notes. So we're going to go like this. Uncle Rusty says, Brother Rusty says, Herman, it's sad to say, but you have to remind people because they remember what they want to. So I'm going to say these lady racers' name, and you're going to think about this for a minute. All right. In NHRA, Shirley, cha-cha Muldowney. One of the greatest greatest lady drag racers of all time. John Force's daughters, right? Ashley Force, Courtney Force, Brittany Force. What do they all have in common? All these drag racing ladies. Shirley, Cha-Cha Muldowney, you know, Courtney, Brittany, Ashley. They're all winners and champions. How about Janet Guthrie in NASCAR? Ran the Daytona 500. How about Danica Patrick? Won an IndyCar race over in Japan. Uh, Jade Avedisian. I, J- I, we just did an incredible interview with, with, with Jade right here, all right, uh, last year. She won the, what was it, Extreme Outlaw Open Wheel Midget Championship over the boys, over the big boys. She can wheel that damn thing, man. Um, and so many more, right? Um, Danica Patrick won an Indy car race. And how about Haley Deegan right here on Kenny Conversation? Haley Deegan outran the boys out there on dirt, out on the West Coast. The bottom line is this. Don't be so male chauvinist, all right? The girls can get it done. For some reason, uh, we're out here in Daytona, and I'm going to find her name. What's Tony? Tony Brydinger. All right, here we go. Forgive me if I hatcheted her name up. That is what stirred up all this drama. So NASCAR came out, Adam Stern. Adam Stern came out on X, and he said, top social media. And this is what created all the drama. You see that? 2.1 million views. Who the hell is this? And I said, I know her. 
She's really good at social media. Well, the male chauvinists were pissed that Chase Elliott wasn't number one. Well, first of all, Chase is a good dude, but Chase is quiet like his dad. He just don't want, he has very little to do with social media. Bill Elliott, Chase Elliott, love them. They're friends of mine, but they're like, they're kind of like Schrader. They're kind of like Schrader. Eh, social media. They don't really care for it, all right? So social media is not really indicative. It's just who does the best job on social media? Well, this brought the male chauvinists out, and it, it, it was ugly. So I want to give you my opinion on lady racers in NASCAR. Put this in quotation, Charlie. I know guys that cannot drive race cars. So for the men to hand select a couple ladies that have a tough time, that's no good. End quotation. Okay? So once again, I'm putting up for the ladies because I'm a girl dad. I have three daughters, okay? And Chrissy, uh, my niece, was a great race car driver. Hell, she qualified third at Kentucky, all right? Uh, in the trucks, uh, I maybe 15 years ago, 10 years ago, passing Jack Sprague, going down the back straightaway, got on the inside and got loose and wrecked because she needed more experience. But I just got to tell some of you male chauvinists out there, you're making yourself look ugly. I don't like the pretty ladies racing in racing. I don't like the girls racing in NASCAR because you can't get your lazy ass up off the couch. Most of these people don't even don't even race. They're just jealous. These ladies are doing whatever it takes. And listen, I've missed some of the ladies' names, and I apologize. We're going to have Jamie Little on Kenny Conversation. We've already did it. This girl was 13 years old, left her house, went to Vegas, and made it in the world of sports. Jamie Little did. Some of the, I'm going to tell you what, some of these ladies, they, they'll, they'll, be, they'll beat you men's ass. She got you beat. Some of you guys just are lazy. You won't get up. Listen, here. I want to show you this, okay? I want you all to see this. Uh, here we go. This is Kobe Bryant, all right? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant once said, I have nothing in common with lazy people which blame others for their lack of success. Great things come from hard work and pers perseverance. No excuses. All right? You guys are lazy asses. You're fat. You got a big ass belly. You eat steak and you, you drink beer. You disappoint me. You disappoint the Herminator. Respond right here. Come on, bring it. I'm adamant about this because I have three daughters, okay? I have three daughters and my niece, Chrissy. So I'm calling you all out right now because you make yourself look ugly. These ladies, they get the raw end of the deal. Listen, some of them can't drive. Let's say some of them cannot drive. Some of the men can't drive. All right, I can't drive. Kenny Wallace cannot drive, all right? Somehow I won 113 dirt races, won nine NASCAR Xfinity races, and I found my own damn sponsors. Your lazy ass won't get off the couch and do what these ladies have done. You, you Listen, there, there are these girls. Um, let me find some more of them right here. They're absolutely incredible. Uh, they're really good on Instagram. They know how to get it done. And you guys are lazy and you don't know how to get sponsors. So you're jealous. All right. So drop the jealousy. I've called you out. Respond right here. Tell me why ladies are not allowed to race in NASCAR. Haley Diggins already won on dirt against the guys on the West Coast. All the girls I told you about. What are you going to say about Shirley Cha Cha Muldowney? What are you going to say about the Forces sisters, Brittany, Ashley, Courtney. What are you going to say about Janet Guthrie? What are you going to say about all these ladies that have already won? They can't race because you're jealous of them? All right. Listen, I, I think I think I've given you my uh, – I've chewed your ass out, and you deserve it. So uh, 
when you see Haley Deegan, by the way, she's in the Xfinity series now. She deserves to be there. She found her own sponsors. And her dad, Brian Deegan, is a badass. So uh, he taught her well. Uh, listen, I've watched I've watched Haley Deegan go up against Scott Bloomquist up there at, at the SRX race up there in Knoxville no, and, and just sand his rear bumper off. So these girls deserve a chance to keep racing just like any guy because they get their own money. You go get your own money. And as far as, well, they're pretty, they got an advantage. Well, are you ugly? You know, good looking guys that keep themselves shaving like me, sell sponsorship. I mean, let's say I didn't deserve to race, but I did something right because I can sell product and I'm a winner. I win. All right. So what do you have? Who are you? Let me see your face. These guys are all, all over social media. They won't show their faces. They got fake names. So respond right here. What is your problem with the lady racers? I don't like the lady racers because they're taking a ride away from somebody. Oh, really? You mean the guy that couldn't come up with the money and that team probably would have shut down? These lady racers, like a Jade Evadisian. She's unbelievable. Google that name, Jade Evadisian. She's a winner, and now she's with Toyota. These ladies know how to get sponsorship. They stay on the racetrack. Yeah, they look good. Nothing wrong with looking good. Like I said, look how good I look, and I'm a guy. I shaved up today. My hairs look nice. <laughs> All right. Remember, at the very end of this, I'm a girl dad. Brooke, Brandy, and Brittany, my daughters kick ass. My niece, Chrissy, Wassey, Chrissy Wallace, does too. So respond right here. Uh, I just finally come time to call you all out because you, you look bad. You look ugly. I don't like girls racing in NASCAR. I don't like girls racing in NHRA because they outrun me. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, that was a good one. I had a good time. I feel better now. That was some, that was some good therapy for me. And uh, the Daytona 500. It's right now. All right, everybody. Remember, we are in podcast form, iTunes and Spotify. This one's short. What was this, Charlie? This was quick, man. This was only 14 minutes. You, I don't even know if you made it halfway through because I chewed your ass out so bad. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm breaking my arm. All right, everybody. Like, subscribe right here. And I believe this is the only one in a long time that I called you out. Until the next Kenny Wallace show, we'll see you next time.